So this is the tutorial um, for the first part of the CDUS and Engineer Your Vision uh, Aerofoil competition. We'll be using Onshape here, um, which is an on a browser-based um, CAD software, so computer-aided design, to design the wing um, and then export it to SimScale, where we will do the CFD. So the first thing to do is go ahead and open up Onshape. So if you don't have an account, make an account and sign in. And then we go and we create a new document. Uh, you can call it um, whatever you want. I'll just call it Lincoln CDS as I'm part of Cambridge University Drone Society. We just wait for it, wait for it to make us our document. And so here you can see we have uh, planes, and so we're going to sketch on one of the planes, but we need a aerofoil to sketch. So the first thing is to go to, well, there's actually a problem opening up in Google. So if we go to Bing and search for aerofoil tools, I also checked it works in Yahoo as well, but for some reason not Google. And then we can go to this website called Airfoil Tools and go down to Reynolds number calculator. So what this does is this gives us a um, Reynolds number, which is a constant, which helps you pick wings as it gives you how the air will behave at a certain size and speed. So we can enter our velocity, which is 10 meters per second. That's correct. And the chord width, oh, there we go. 0 0.2, yeah, that's all correct. And just put in the default uh, viscosity for uh, it gives you to you here actually we're yep, 10 degrees is good, or you can use 20 degrees, roughly roughly the same. So anyway, it gives us 140,000. So we can go to airfoil database search, and all we want is max co coefficient of lift to drag, and let's say. Yeah, let's say mm, let's go let's go back and try with 20 degrees if that yeah makes it a hundred so yeah so let's go a hundred hundred thousand you can search look for some of these aerofoils there they're, they're quite complex let's go I'm gonna look for a flatter one I'm just gonna just keep going down until there's a and that has just to make it easier. Sometimes it works. That was that was actually the best one on the second page. Yeah, it was E four seven one. So I'm gonna remember this, and I'm gonna go back to my um, on shape folder, and I'm gonna. So you'll have this, so it's just add custom features and you want to type aerofoil and do a public search of all um, the extra models. So if we go down to any one of these with a, a wing like this, actually, uh, actually this should be of a plane. Yeah, when you do with a plane, so you go profile generator and just add that. This is a popular on shape um, custom module that someone's created. And one sec, let's just do that again. Yeah. This is a profile generator, yeah. Oh, there we go. For some reason it didn't add it the first time, now it's added it once. So we click, click on the profile generator once it's loaded in. 
And you see we need a plane and some points. So we're going to use the right plane. However, before we do that, we need to make a sketch on the plane. So let's draw a line from the origin. And we're going to dimension it. So that means add the, the length as, or it's 20 mil. So that's at, um, 20 centimeters, so it's 200 mil. There we go. <clears throat> we can make this, uh, select this. You make a construction line so it's not, doesn't interfere with our profile. That And now oh, we need to do profile generate again and select the right plane and the front and back of the line. You see it's generating us a uh, FR, but this isn't what we wanted. We wanted, what was it? E471. Okay. One equal seven one watt six point two five. There, you see now it matches what we have in the database. And we're going to extrude the solid of this wing the other direction and to extrude it by hmm, let's say 600 mil so that's 60 centimeters we've of course got 750 mil to work with in our uh, this horizontal direction so we can put, click the tick see now we have just a simple wing and you could leave it here but i'm going to add um, a certain feature. So if you've traveled on a plane in recent times, you may have seen the wingtips curl up. So these winglets, they reduce vortices, so this, inc this reduces the drag. So we're going to add this to our design. So the easiest thing to do is new, new sketch. And when we actually, we have to add a new plane. So here we go. It's point nine. So we're going to select the point, have a back of our line, and the, the line of our, yeah. And we're going to make a sketch on this new plane. Going to start here and go all the way. We should be able to analyze. Instant. Yeah. And um, turn this into a construction. And then from this point, we can now do a spline. So this is a curve. Oh, oh, this want select the finishing point. It's about, let's leave there, press escape. Here to up and let's do a horizontal and vertical dimension for this. Um, so we got 600, that's 125, you got 25 millimeters of room, and then a vertical dimension. Vertical dimension is thickness 0 0.1. Ooh, so we don't have much to work with, we have up to 100. Yeah, let's do 75, and then I put this control point here, yeah, make it horizontal to make it parallel to this construction line. And then make this vertical. Yep. Yeah. Now I'm going to click the tick. <clears throat> and then here we should be able to make a new plane that's a point. 
Yep. And then we can now make a sketch on here. So this will be the chord of our wingtip. So we can make it, let's do, we want it swept like in the design. So let's do 100, make it half the width. And turn it into a construction line as it's not part of the wing, this, line, this chord line. And then we now we need to use the profile generator again on And we want the E, E471, yep. And we want to show the, show the sketch, yep. And now we're going to loft. So here we go. We select the end of our original wing. And then this new wing, see it's initially it can't make that, so we should Add a guide, which is this curve. Ooh. Still doesn't like that. Let's try as a path instead. Hmm. Let's see. Um, Yeah, it doesn't seem to like this. Um, Let's uh, make this slightly longer. Let's draw 150. Sometimes if it's too, if it's too aggressive, it doesn't like it. There we go. Now it could do it. Just takes a bit of experimenting, especially with the loft. It's a bit of a picky feature. about it's good and now um just something quick so sim scale um it doesn't like when there's two different parts so you see in the parts list we have two different parts down here so we need to use what's called a boolean operation um and we use something called a union so we add the two into one part in there so now we have one half of our wing um and now we can go and test this in SimScale and see what we got. Um, just another note, it may be easier as you need to do uh, zero degrees and at 15 degrees, rather than do it in SimScale, you can just uh, rename this zero deg and we duplicate to rename this. 15 take <clears throat> and do the same for the parts. And then we should just be able to move yep so we transform select the parts we do rotate axes 
we can uh, be able to can use a line at the back and we just do with deem that we've increased the angle of attack by 15 degrees perfect and that should be all and now you can move on to sim scale and you can get the coefficient of drag and the coefficient of lift for your weight.